Hello guys, it is the Stargarts Fitness Challenger here and in this video we will be doing a unboxing of the Myrafit Power Rack. Let's get into this. So guys, here we are in the garage of course and I'm putting together the M3 Power Rack bought by Myrafit. I was tempted with the Strength Shop rack which I'm about to show you uh, but for reasons I'll explain I chose the opposite cage. So these are the cages originally they were on the website for £449 and I got an email which told me there'll be 500 so that is £50 more initially starting. So it's £500 for the standard cage and uh, with this cage uh, as I'll circle with the cursor which is quite bad quality, but oh well, you do get the standard uh, dip bars with this one. And of course you get the spotter arms and you get the entire cage and some peg bands as well. And a stability arm at the back. You'll get these west side pinholes for extra safety bar uh, usage for different increments, which is very helpful. And this is the standard safety bar that you'll get. And also the hooks as well, which you can see are not protected, as well as the safety arm is not protected as well. So yeah, these are the dip horns, which you get as standard. You do not with the Myrafit. The cage is smaller, it's 185. Myrafit is 188 with other options available. And it also takes up a bigger profile in your garage. So the Myrafit is smaller. If you're looking to protect your bar and squats, bench press, you would have to get this uh, webbing arm and it is £130 extra on top of the £500 that you're taking out anyway. Those are pointless. They're just different, different dip horns and other attachments. And these are the J hooks or hooks, whatever, but they don't have protection. So if you're looking to protect your gym equipment, which I am, they will destroy your bar very quickly. Uh, but Myrafit, as you'll see, uh, do not, and they have protection already built in, which is brilliant. So that is the standard strength shop cage, which has gone up by £50. Uh, a bit disappointed at that, because they have quite a good chin-up bar on this, multi-grip, whereas Myrafit is not, it's just standard. Uh, but it's a shame, I do like strength shop. But if you wanted to buy protection J-hooks, whatever you want to call them, you'd have to spend out... £760 to be able to protect your bar which is a bit ridiculous they should come as standard with everything and the spotter arms are more uh, sturdy with the more expensive cage but you're going to destroy your cage anyway and these are an extra cost on top of the £760 that you're spending in a £60 cage obviously other attachments these webbing arms will cost you £150 on top of the cage so you do the maths it's pretty expensive more expensive than the Myrafit as what I'll go over now in the gym so going back to the cage build it's very sturdy this thing is a, a very good buy if you're looking to buy a garage gym or not a garage gym you know what I mean a garage cage click the subscribe and the bell button if you haven't already uh, going back to it, it's pretty hard to put together on your own. Uh, easier to put it together with two people, but the thing is really good. I'm really happy with it so far. It took me about an hour or so to put together. I do have a eye condition where I'm legally blind, so this is uh, was a challenge uh, to put together. But I managed to do it, and I'm extremely happy with it. It is west side uh, pin spotter arm spacing so you can do all kind of increments with squats bench deadlifts and rack pulls it is powder coated as well and it has a nice smooth finish to the black and the orange just makes it a little bit more unique i kind of like it first of all i was put off by it but uh, on the website uh, but once i received it started putting it together i actually really like it and i'm really happy with it and it just looks really nice in the gym uh, and then it is an essential piece of equipment as you can obviously push yourself to the limit, almost dropped it then, with a bench and squat and even rack pulls 
which I have had 170 kilos on. So it can hold a lot of weight, these things. So, yeah. There we go, one of the lights has gone out now, and that's always fun to do a cage build in the dark. Not, made it a lot more difficult. I'm using my feet, my head, my arms, everything to keep these things up. But oh, getting there, it's almost done now. Uh, there's minimal parts to it. You've got four, obviously, orange arms and the other bits and bobs. Uh, and once you just put the very simple bolts together on it, it is sturdy as anything. And it is, it is a joy to watch putting it together. So this is basically at the end of the build. There we go, finished. So the cage is complete and this is what it looks like. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for the latest videos. And I hope you've liked this one because this is now the details of this. This is the J-Hooks, and I'll go into a bit more detail, with the UHMW protection. Now, I bought extra ones for preset of squat and bench press. Uh, and these are what you get from Myrofoot. These received two days after ordering, which was absolutely brilliant. So, they're really good. They weigh about 500 grams, which is nothing... Uh, and the thickness of that UHMW is really good. And I have slammed some weight into them and they're not even scratched. And my bar, which is an, a Rogue Fitness Ohio bar, worth about £300, is in brilliant condition still. I've only had this cage for a little bit, but I'm, I'm loving it. And a, another set of hooks is definitely worth the purchase. This cage costs £400 as standard, doesn't come with dip horns, comes with a straight chin-up bar, uh, doesn't come with a stability arm, which I'll point out in a second in the video, uh, but you do not need it. That is an extra £50 on top. This is all powder coated and it's a really nice finish with the, obviously the west side pinholes. But so as standard as £400, extra cups to hold the bar. That is fifty pounds for stability arms. Uh, is a fifty pounds for the hooks, so four hundred and fifty pounds spent. And then in a second, I'll show you what else. I'm six feet tall, and the cages I could adjust that chin-up bar position, which I have to do, is one eighty-eight total height. Uh, I was concerned with the uh, being able to deadlift in the cage, but I'm happy to say you can. Uh, so. The garage is a total mess, but anyway, I'm going to move all this. So, the cage itself is £400. Uh, with these metal spotter arms, with metal protection, uh, you will need to purchase some padding for the, the spotter arms. I was told not to buy the padding because it's only designed for M1 and M2. I bought them anyway, and it fits perfectly. I don't know why you wouldn't buy them, because you want to protect your bar. These are the standard... Uh, spotter arms for the cage which you slide in obviously and in a moment I'll show you the padding that I bought because the spotter arm protectors are just solid steel that will destroy your bar there's no point using them so I purchased the extra ones for an extra 50 pounds so it brings up the total cost of the cage with one set of hooks up to 450 pounds that's all you need you don't need anything else if you want to do what I did and buy an extra set, you're going to be looking at £500 with the cushioned softeners for the spotter arms. And that is a hell of a lot less than uh, the strength shop. And you don't need the stability arm either. That's 170 kilos on the bar. So these are a great buy. I was concerned with the space between the cage for 
doing deadlifts, but there is literally just enough room to be comfortable doing a deadlift. And I'm so happy about that because I don't want to be moving around because it's got limited space. This is a strength shop again. I like them. Uh, deadlift arm mini jack, 50 pounds for that. And it's much needed if you're doing deadlifts. I think on the bar here is 110 kilos or something like that. But there's plenty of room underneath that for moving and moving within the cage, which is brilliant. And it's such an easy thing to use. So if you want to buy a deadlift jack, go ahead and buy it. Uh, or make one, because they're uh, pretty easy, but I bought one because I couldn't be bothered. So this is the cage. It's really good, and it's really cheap compared to Strength Shop. You'll just get exactly the same thing, but it is really sturdy. I suggest buying it. If you're looking to do it and push yourself to the limits, get yourself a cage. Go Myra Fit, because it's really quick. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit the bell button and the like, and I'll see you in the next video.